another episode of the Pokefero channel. Um, today we are not going to be opening up any Pokemon cards or Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I am very sad to um, inform you of that information. Let's get that out of the way. But got something a little bit more better for you. Um, I've had a lot of um, comments, messages, and requests for me to showcase my personal uh, Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh collection. Um, I'll be completely honest with you, we would be here for a long time for me to get through everything that I do own. Um, so as of right now, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and showcase um, what I do have. So let me go ahead and start this recording real quick. Pretty much going to restart this intro. This video is live in the time of its recording. So let's go ahead and record. And I will go ahead and do my intro. What's up, Pokemon fans? It's your boy, Billy Pets, and welcome back to another uh, episode here on the Pokeferro channel, uh, where we uh, do Pokemon openings and Yu-Gi-Oh! openings, so I do encourage you to tackle that like button and rock smash that subscribe button for me, uh, so you can become part of the Pokeferro community. Uh, with that being said, again, I've already um, began to elaborate on what today's video is going to be. We're not going to be opening up any Pokemon cards or Yu-Gi-Oh cards today. Uh, today, instead, we are going to showcase my personal Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh collection. Um, it would take an extreme amount of time to go through everything I own, so uh, this will be a part one. And yeah, let's see if we can get some people um, in here on the live stream. And then I'll begin to start showcasing some of my personal collection. And let me go ahead and share the live stream real quick. Make sure we are indeed live. There we go. Write a post. Come check out my personal Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! collection. Part 1. All right, Ferals, let's go ahead and see if we got that shared. I'll wait for some people to come in here. Mm -mm -mm. Awesome, there we go. So we did share it on the personal page as well. Hopefully we get some people in here and I'll start showcasing the cards. I know people will probably come and go. Let's see here. All right. So we got one viewer. What's up? Again, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be uh, showcasing my personal Pokemon collection and also um, Yu-Gi-Oh collection. Let me go ahead and bring this right here real quick so I can read all your awesome comments and reply to them. What up, Eric? I appreciate you coming in on here real quick. And all right, so um, let's get right into it. Uh, so starting with this stack right here, uh, these are cards that I was going to start submitting to Beckett for grading. Uh, we do have the uh, Champion's Path sought after uh, Shiny Charizard V full art. And it is in pristine condition, as you can see. The pricing is already outdated. <laughs> $400 for Raw or uh, $2K for a PSA 10. Um, that has definitely changed already in the last two weeks. So um, we'll keep it moving. We got a couple um, reverse hollow Charizards. All right. These are all pristine condition as well. Uh, again, the pricing might need to be updated since the last time I did these. Hundred bucks. It looks like it was raw, and they're going about a thousand dollars for PSA tens. Um, so these are some cards that I will be submitting in the future. We've got a couple of Mega Charizard EXs, some Charizard V Max from Darkness Ablaze, another card in pretty pristine condition. Um, these are all PSA ready. So here's some Vintage Boys. Uh, so we got some um, base set Charizard, not Shadow. It's our first edition, just base set. You know. Would be in pretty good condition, I would say. Maybe near mint. And then we have another Charizard base set here. 
And then we got a Japanese uh, original base set, Blastoise. So this was the 1995 version, four years before the official, uh, I'm sorry, 1996. Uh, so about three years before the official release of the Pokemon in America. And you can see I got a double swirl right there. Very nice. And we got some couple more base uh, Blastoise that we've collected. All near mint to mint condition. We'll get into our boy Venusaur. This is Shadowless Venusaur here. So we got a Shadowless Venusaur, a couple more uh, base of Venusaurs. And this is something that I picked up over the weekend, actually. Uh, we got a base set Machamp uh, with a swirl as well. These are all in pristine condition, so these will be getting submitted to Beckett for grading. Get some slabs going. Uh, base set Needle King, base set. Uh, Chansey, I'm sorry, Clefairy, I don't know why I said Chansey, uh, this is dope, this is a Vaporeon error card, if you can guess what the error is, it's actually, uh, they forgot to put the jungle symbol on there, so there's actually a whole set out there with no symbols, and I'll be starting to collect those as well, we got Magikarp, uh, this is from my 2002, uh, this is an Expedition, uh, Reverse Hollow I picked up, Scizor from Acapolis, uh, Beautifly from Expedition, and this is a random Charizard V, and these were actually some of the uh, duplicates that I wasn't going to put in my uh, Beckett submission coming up. Uh, also this weekend I picked up a Shadowless Ninetales. Very nice. I think it was, it was 50 bucks, but I think I paid like 25 for it. So you can't beat that. And then this is going out tomorrow. This is going to be... Uh, the Dark Charizard Hollow Gem 10. Two weeks ago, this card was going for um, roughly $1,500. Uh, it did go off in auction uh, for $750, it said. But, you know, it's going to go to someone, hopefully, that um, will appreciate it. And hopefully, they make some more money in the future off of this. Um, I do plan on getting these back at some point in life. But for now, um, let's get over to... Um, the Beckett submission. Um, so this is going to be cool. Uh, me and my friend Jackson, and who's also going to be my partner in a, an upcoming company that I feel comfortable disclosing now, is going to be the, called the Cardboard Kings. So we actually are going to be um, uh, placing vending machines all across southeastern Michigan. Uh, I've already worked out a couple deals with different locations, and now uh, make the big announcement here soon. Uh, but pretty much we are going to be having vending card machines. Uh, where you can go and get like the newest and hottest uh, Pokemon, whether it be Shiny Fates, Champion's Path, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, Magic, Dragon Ball Z. Um, yeah, for like a dollar, you know, in quarters from 50 cents to a, a buck, you know, guaranteed a holographic, stuff like that. So it's pretty much going to be like a vending machine slot. We put like four quarters in. You remember when you were a kid, and you pull it out, get a little cardboard slip, and it'll have a couple cards in it. Uh, but anyway, so here is our... Uh, Beckett submission that we'll be putting in here. I'm not going to tell you when that's going to happen and where it's going to happen. Um, it's not going to be today, tomorrow, anything like that. Um, this is going to be on a random day that no one can track it. So, anyways, um, with that being said, we have number one. We have a 1995 Top Sun Charizard beautiful card this is the very first ever holographic charizard ever before base set before japanese base set this is the first one ever so a uh, card like this goes for right now fifteen hundred dollars raw ten thousand dollars in a psa 10 so mm. someone is calling me and austin you can't be calling me when i'm on live so let's go ahead and get it popping we have Charizard vs. Cloyster, another 1995 card. This is with Bendai. As you can see, $1,500 raw as it sits, $27,000. It comes back a 10. This is in pretty good condition. I don't think it's going to be a 10, but I do think we're going to get a good flip on that. So, number three. It's a boy Charizard XY Evolutions. It's from 2016. Um, there's not a lot of PSA 10s out there. A 10 does go for around 6 to 10K, 
uh, a nine only goes for a couple grand. Um, but I don't have just one. I have two that I'm going to try to submit for. So there's that. And let me go ahead and place these on the, the back end there. So I can put it back in order. Number four, we have Pikachu VMAX Rainbow Rare from the new Vivid Voltage set. I pulled this on the YouTube channel. So if you head over to the PokeFerial channel, make sure you tackle that like button and rock smash the subscribe button so you don't miss out on uh, live exciting fun like this. So that is also one to Beckett. We have here Rayquaza, amazing rare. Yep. Raikou, Amazing Rare, Vivid Voltage, 2020. Jirachi, Amazing Rare, 2020. These cards are going for like, depending where you're looking at, 15 to 35. I see them as high as $50 a piece. Um, raw, that is, you know. So we got another Amazing Rare for Vivid Voltage. We have Aerodactyl from Neo uh, Discovery, I believe. What's really cool about this card is they never released this in the English set as a holographic. So, very low population. I believe there's only seven to, I think it was seven or nine um, PSA 10s in this card. So, cool. Let's keep it moving. We got the Dragon Knight from 1999 Game Boy. Maybe it was year 2000. 2000 trading card came in Japan. Also in pristine condition. Obviously, we didn't want to grade anything that's not... Looking like it's going to slap a 9 or a 10 at best. So, uh, let's go here. We have card number 11 would be a Fossil Dragon Knight and from Japan. And that was, again, I believe in Japan was 1999 for these. Yep. We got Charizard Level X. Yep. We got Pikachu V Full Art. This is from Vivid Voltage 2020. Pristine pulled it myself on the YouTube channel. We have a Mega Blastoise EX from XY Evolutions 2016. Ooh, our boy Charizard GX Hyper Rare. So there's one of them. I believe I actually had two of them. I do got two of them. So there they are, both the boys. This card goes for $300 as they sit, or $3,500 in the PSA 10. Again, we are submitting to Beckett, so that would be a 9.5 gem mint that we're hoping to, to accomplish with these cards. Um, big money, man, big money for show. So uh, again, this is just what I'm submitting. Uh, this is part one of my collection. Uh, we have a Yu-Gi-Oh! Holographic Test Print. Um, these were released in packs on accident, uh, I believe back in 2003, around like the Metal Raiders Feral Serpent days. So there is only one of these on eBay right now for $200 raw. None of them have ever been graded. So this will be the first one in the world. Pretty cool. It's an official Yu-Gi-Oh! card it is. All right. Then we have here number 17 on my list of 100 cards. Uh, first edition Magic Ruler Relinquish Pack Fresh. This card, I actually sold one of these. It says price 300 I just sold one on my eBay raw for $550 as it sits. Um, it is important to know that you could have this card in your collection, but if it is not pack fresh, you're not going to get the prices. You'll probably get 20 bucks. So, uh, a lot of people are like, oh, man, I got that card. But do you have it fresh out of a pack in a penny sleeve, hard top? Maybe. Maybe not, though. So, more than likely not. Um, this is my last one of this card from that set, Magic Rulers. As you know, Magic Rulers, um, Yu-Gi-Oh! got had a lawsuit because of Magic the Gathering. So, they changed the name to Spell Rulers. Anyways, the next one is going to be another Relinquish, but this one is from the Starter Deck Pegasus. First edition, also gem 10 worthy. And let's get a couple more here. We're going by the stacks now. We got Dark Magician, first edition. Yep. Oh, you know, Dark Magician, 
first edition. Let's see if we can get that to focus. Come on, come on. There you go. Beautiful art. Guess what? Another Dark Magician first edition. Submitting all these bad boys. Oh, what do you know? A Dark Magician in Japan. And that's it from my Magician submissions. I'm going to be doing four Dark Magicians this, this time. Then we have the infamous Morphine Jar, which the tournament pack, I think this car was going for like $8,000 and PSA 10. Well, guess what? I got one fresh out the pack. Just kidding. I got two fresh out the pack. So uh, we'll be submitting for those bad boys. And then those will be going up in auction in the near future. Uh, we have Cyberstein, which you may have seen on Yu-Gi-Oh! Packaging. There's only eight in the world that are PSA 10 at $8,000. And you're looking at a Japanese tournament pack. Also, uh, I believe it was called Bion Bionicle Chronicles. Yes. Anyways, um, that is one of a kind. Probably won't get another one of those cards again. But who knows? Might get a 10. Next, we have Dark Sage Ultimate Rare from Japan. And we also have a Dark Sage Secret Rare from Japan. Um, two amazing, beautiful cards also being submitted to back it for grading. Next up, we have my boy Jinzo. Not one, not two, but three Jinzos, right? Two are considered ultra rares, right? So that is a beautiful card in itself. All pristine, pack fresh. Then the same card is referred to as a parallel rare, as you can see. The holographic goes through the whole card. It takes about, I think it was like one parallel rare, possibly one parallel rare every two booster boxes from Japan. Or case, something like that. It was ridiculous pull rate on these. Uh, to get one on Jinzo, even, even crazier, got one of those. Then we also have um, Black Skull Demon Dragon, which was converted to English because that sounds so dark to Summon Skull. This would be from the Metal Raider set, but in Japan, uh, RB, I forgot what that was stood for. Uh, my Japanese Yu-Gi-Oh is a little, little um, what do you call it, shaky. Oh, it's going to bother me now. That's all right. Anyways, we got two of those. Spitting those bad boys to back it. All right, let me just fast forward here to the last 40. So to the top 40. We have uh, Blue Eyes Toon Dragon Parallel. Oh, the parallel rare. That's a secret. Yeah, that's a parallel. No. No, 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 no. Hold on. Oh, there we go. I found him. I found you. Bam. Parallel rare. That's what we want. Blue Eyes Toon Dragon. Parallel rare, same thing with the Jinzo, and then we also have the secret rare version. So we'll be, let's see if we can get that to focus. Come on, focus for me and the Pharaohs. Anyways, you get the point. So, again, this is my personal collection. This is not, I mean, this is my collection. This is what I'm grading this, uh, this upcoming week. We have Blue Eyes, White Dragon himself, pristine condition from Japan. If I can get that to focus, that'd be awesome. Let's see here. Yep. Come on, focus. I do apologize, guys, because the camera does not want to focus. Anyways, Blue Eyes, White Dragon from Japan. Year 2000. Again, yu gi -Oh! came out in 2002 in America, but Japan gets everything sooner than us. And... I believe their quality is even much better. So we have a parallel rare. Look how that hits. Wow. Buster Blader from Japan. Astonishing card. It's definitely um, reflecting a lot of light. Beautiful. Now we get back to the English, uh, the TCG. Uh, we have a first edition, Tribute to the Doom. This is from Metal Raider's deck. If I can get that to focus. Come on. Come on, focus. Let me see if I just block that out real quick. Let me see if we can get that to 
There we go. First edition Metal Raiders tribute to the Doom. Not one, but two first editions. Now, what's cool about Yu Gi Oh! Because instead of Pokemon, everyone's all about the Pokemon craze right now. But Yu Gi Oh! has low, very, very low population reports for their cards being graded. Because when we were kids, we actually played with the cards mm -hmm. in Yu Gi Oh! And I don't know anyone that actually plays Pokemon cards. We just collected them. Um, but with Yu-Gi-Oh cards, we actually dueled each other. So, to find cards in good condition are really, really, really tough. Moving forward, we got one first edition Metal or Magic Rulers uh, Karibo. But that, I didn't say one, right? I mean, that, I'm at two. No, I'm just kidding. I'm at three. I'm at three Karibos. That's what I'm at. Three Karibo first edition Magic Rulers, mm. pristine condition. I did sell one on my eBay recently, or I'm still selling. If you go on the Poke Barrel eBay, I am selling a bunch of cards raw. You will never find that again um, in these condition. Curse of Dragon, first edition, Legend of Blue Eyes with a hollow bleed at the top. But hollow bleed, what I mean is like the holographic kind of came through the card. Yeah, you can see right there now. Yeah. Curse of Dragon. Legend of Blue Eyes. Again. And all these cards, man, they're absolutely ridiculous. If they come back 10s or 9.5s, come back 9 If they come back 10s from, from Beckett, we're talking a ridiculous amount of money. But if you come back 9.5s, we're looking at every card you're seeing anywhere from $1,000 up, guaranteed. Some of these cards are $4,000, $5,000. So big money to be made. We have next Gemini L first edition Labyrinth of Nightmares Triple Zero. This was the secret rare of Labyrinth of Nightmares. We have Go Goblin Attack Force, which is I always want to say Goblet of Fire because you know Harry Potter. But anyways, um, first edition Pharaoh Servant. Another cool card. The eyes turn red. It's pretty sick. Then we have another secret rare from um, Dark Crisis, which is a first edition. Vampire Lord. Won't see these cards coming out of this condition again. To open up Vintage Yu-Gi-Oh! today, some of those booster boxes are going just as much, if not more, than Pokemon boxes. So, to have these, extremely blessed, man. Uh, Tune, Summon Skull, first edition. It's for Magic Rulers. Yes, 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 yes. And lastly, my last first edition, Legend of Blue Ice Trap Hole. Um, I did just sell one for $50 raw, and I wish I didn't do that. I mean, I still can, like, not mail it, but that's not who I am. So um, I did it again. I want someone to appreciate the card once they get it. Uh, same thing with this. If you're just now seeing, I have the that Dark Charizard PSA 10 being sold. So um, we are already in 20 minutes into our session. I think that is... That was the, even though I said 40, it's actually 50 cards. And I forgot one right here. That would be another parallel rare tune. White Dragon. The rest would be my friend Jackson's um, submissions. Uh, I won't showcase that because it's not part of my collection. Um, but again, I appreciate you guys. Uh, if you did like this video, man, or appreciate this video, however you want to say it, make sure you like the video if you like the video. Uh, so again, um, box smash subscribe button, man. I appreciate you, um, all you pharaohs out there, man. Building up your collections. Uh, I love the energy that you guys send to my inbox. The questions, I appreciate those. If you're coming to me for advice, I, I don't mind. If you want me to appraise your cards, I can do that for you as well. Um, tell you the best top five. I'll even offer you uh, cash for your collections. I'm very transparent. Yes, you're going to see some cards that are probably like $1,000 on eBay, and I'm going to offer you a way less amount because obviously I'm going to resell it to at that amount to try to make some money. So if you're just going to do it with cash, and the reason you would want to go through me is the reputation of the brand, obviously, uh, but you, you're eliminating all risk on your end at that point. Uh, you don't have to deal with eBay fees, PayPal fees, shipping, driving to post office, make sure the packaging's good. Things don't arrive damaged. You don't got to deal with buyers that may um, want to dispute your shipping and all that. So 
again that's why if you come to me man i will give you a fair price on your cards and then it's up to you you don't have to take it um, i'll be more than happy to guide you to other buyers so uh, again tackle the like button man like button man and rocks